Step 2. Who am I? The Royal Path. Applied Science to Conquer Life and Death. In the step 1, we had seen the mind is distinctly different from the body. Here, body, our physical body and whatever that exists in this cosmos with a form and name is contained as a thought, as a word in our minds. These words, passing words, the words which go through in our brains actually happen in mind. The word brain is a physical organ in a human body. For that matter, all animals, all insects, everything has a nervous system that is made up of consciousness and a brain, a neural network. This is also physical. If our brains do thinking, it should happen during our deep sleep state also. Whereas, in our deep sleep states, there is nothing of that sort. A thinking, a word passing across as a thought, a visual scene for which some thought patterns, some word patterns attach themselves arise in our brain during our deep sleep. So this is also an object in this existence. This inner organ, the brain, which doesn't on its own produce a thought. It is made to pass a thought, run a thought, run a word, run a visual, video, audio during our waking state or during our dream states as the activity of our physical existence. What do we mean by physical existence? Whatever actions that we do physically originate from the mind. In the mind, the thought is produced and the thought uses the physical body your body, my body, my physical body and makes it to do things, behave. The master of this complete physical cosmos and our physical body is the mind. In your mind only, you enact, you create in a trillionth of a nanosecond, your physical body attach your thought, the thought which you have thought is getting attached with your physical body as the thinker. Even the physical body, the attachment of the physical body is done by the thought. Thought creates the physical body. Thought attaches itself with the physical body. Thought does so many activities through the physical body and pass on all thought formations to the physical body and make the physical body as the thinker. It constantly eludes investigation the thoughts elude investigation because again who is the investigator a thinker identified a thought identified itself with the physical body 
is going to be the investigator and investigate about the thought itself. But instead of calling it as an investigation of thought, it enjoys the confusion that is prevalent basically in a human being. Which is enjoying the confusion? The mind. The mind as if we are separate thinkers that exist in us makes us as the thinkers and that con confusion is carried over again and again and again through each and every passing thought while we live in these two states of waking and dreaming. Both these states the waking state is founded on an imaginary, thought imagined physical form as the thinker and thoughts rule the body, makes the body to behave, respond, react, do so many actions. Our physical body doesn't have the capacity at all. It is like a vegetable which is again and again and again proved in all our deep sleep states. We are lying like vegetables, potatoes. Essentially, this dichotomy of thought using the body physical body as the thinker, doer, actor of so many of its influ influences and it retracts, the mind retracts from the body during our deep sleep state. What is a deep sleep state? Deep sleep state is the retraction of all thoughts called as a mind which has gone into some darkness, oblivion during deep sleep when one gets a bathroom feeling also that feeling has to originate from the mind feeling the filling up of the bladder in one and that feel has to be translated into a thought you should have a thought to get up and discharge urine. Everything is in the control of a non-physical, subtle, but it is the ruler, organism. It's an organism. The earth atmosphere has a biosphere in and through all the five elements, the space, air, fire, water and earth, all the elements don't have a separate mind, a separate name and form at all. They are all held in one cosmic mind. And this cosmic mind itself is a subtle organism. It has all kinds of consciousness or awarenesses in it. Along with a man Getting woken up from deep sleep, the mind is switched on in him as converting itself, the mind converting, the subtle body converting itself as the gross physical body with feelings, thinking for each and every reaction or existence, behavior, actions, for anything and everything. There is a subtle mental body which I have been using it as a cosmic mind. This is invisible, intangible. Again, tangibility is for whom? For whom it should be tangible? Only for a human being. Because up to the level of the five sense to animals, they don't know who they themselves are. 
An elephant doesn't know that it is an elephant. A cow doesn't know that it is a cow. A dog doesn't know it's a dog. Similarly, the mass inertia that is pervading this cosmos in the form of sun, stars, planets, galaxies, universes, all the five elements, they are mass movement of inertia controlled by one cosmic mind. One cosmic mind. Now that same cosmic mind has apportioned itself attaching itself to your physical body identifies with it dissolves with it lives with it as your life thinks with it as your thoughts calls it I, me by me for me with me because of me mine, my etc 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 the crucial point in this step 2 is how a thought is identifying with an inanimate vegetable like physical body your focus throughout your waking state should be how this momentarily arising fleetingly arising thought controls becomes acts rules your physical body as you yours with you by you for you because of you etc etc but this physical organism comes to the forefront of everything so be attentive just be just stay put behind your mind feel directly that it doesn't have a physical body, it doesn't have a physical form, but with your physical form, with your physical body, identifying with your physical body, in and through your physical body, it controls, it possesses all the objective knowledge, all objectivities, all objective orientations, and making it as you and your self group, yours group. The basic group is you or I. Immediate subordinate children of this I group is me, with me, by me, for me, because of me, mine, my, etc. They are one and the same again. Though this is called a subordinate group, it is the direct child of the I. So it is no different from I at all. So all these converge through an invisible force, intangible force, intangible power and getting executed through the physical body which we are all identifying as I and mine group, you and your group, they and their group, it and its group. Be behind this step two of this fundamental confusion that is continuously trodden by the invisible, illusory mind, get detached from its attachment with the physical body. Know for sure, the body is not the thinker, the body is not the feeler, and this invisible force, and that we will have to probe further through our further steps.